An Auburn couple is trying to find a new place for their grandmother. They want to build a tiny home on their property, but zoning bylaws don't allow it. Now they're hoping to amend it and give their loved one a better place to live. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more on their story. Brittany. Olivia, the proposal would only allow tiny homes on properties with a single family house. The Karen say the home they want costs about $50,000 and could be beneficial to many in town. It would only come from about where we're standing here to this joint. Bill and Dominique Karens wanted to put a tiny home on their Auburn property, but they found out the town's zoning bylaws don't allow it. So now the Karens are working on a citizen's petition article to amend the law. The Zoning bylaws need to change to allow the, the dwellings to be permanently lived in. To, to have it be kosher with the town previous to now, you would have to put an in-law addition on. It would have to be attached to the house. It's just not affordable for us and I don't think for many other people. Their inspiration is William's 90-year-old grandmother. He says she is unable to live on her own. My grandmother of now 90 years old uh, had broken her hip. She was living on her own and had to be put into an elderly housing uh, sort of rehabilitation center. Other families would be interested in that kind of approach to, to living, you know, to have family all around and ensure that everyone's comfortable, independent, as opposed to living in a senior home with a split room, multiple roommates. Dominique says a tiny home would cost half the price of an addition and would be adaptable. Not only because it's on wheels, but it could have a later life, for instance, when we no longer need the tiny home for his grandmother, we can tow it off and bring it to Vermont and use it as a little getaway. If the tiny house article passes with a two thirds majority at the town meeting, it will then go on to the attorney general. The couple says they've gotten great feedback from residents in town. We've had people in the neighborhood come by, stop by. They would like to see where the site would be and they were all for it. Hope that it works out in an expedited fashion. The town meeting is May 7th. If the article passes, Auburn would become only the second town in the state to allow tiny homes. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight.